Hello, my name is Mauricio Macaluso. I am professor of pediatrics at the University of Cincinnati and director of the Division of Biostatistics and Epidemiology at Cincinnati Children's. I recently published a paper titled Impact of COVID-19 on people who live with rare diseases and uh, their families, and that's a national survey, in the Journal of uh, uh, Medical Internet Research in Public Health and Surveillance. There are 10,000 or more rare diseases, as many as 30 million Americans may have one. Uh, these are diseases that are hard to diagnose, uh, that uh, often have inadequate treatment and, and uh, carry a burden of uh, disability, chronic morbidity that makes this population a vulnerable population dependent on the healthcare system. Over the past 20 years, the uh, National Institutes of Health have funded the Rare Diseases Clinical Research Network. I'm part of it, and with a group of uh, investigators across the country who specialize on different types of rare diseases, we felt it was important to learn about the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on, uh, on this population. So we designed uh, an online survey, and uh, over 3,400 uh, individuals with uh, uh, rare diseases participated. So we learned from them that they acquire the infection more often than would be expected on the basis of the national rates, then when they acquired the infection, they experienced the worsening of their disease symptoms, uh, increased uh, need for medications. But regardless of whether they acquired the infection, Overall, they experienced adverse, uh, an adverse impact of the pandemic. The uh, access to care was impaired, the access to medication, access to specialized treatments, diets uh, was decreased uh, or uh, more difficult. Um, so we are confirmed that definitely the uh, rare disease population was affected negatively by the pandemic. Uh, more recent research that we are going to publish soon also showed that as compared to a sample of the general population, uh, people who live with rare diseases definitely experienced much worse uh, uh, impact on uh, symptoms and, uh, and uh, need for, for, many, for other medications. So we chose to publish in uh, uh, the Journal of uh, Medical Internet Research uh, publications because of the uh, focus on public health and surveillance uh, of, the, of the journal, its attention to uh, internet-based research, which uh, uh, our survey was, and uh, its uh, recent uh, attention to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. So it was uh, a right fit for the results of our research.